Hey guys, what's going on? Got a sweet door review for you today. Um, this is Swiskey versus uh, Dale Belito. Um, of course, uh, Dale Belito, very famous figure from uh, you know the good old days of goat format, you know the the 2006-2007 era. Um, so this is uh, this is a tournament that they played on Luxury Games called the Coliseum. It was a team tournament. Uh, 3v3 but uh, but I'm just gonna review this game we're gonna we're gonna see how Swiski does um, I, I know that Swiski wins the match but I haven't watched it before so uh, let's see what he does um I like duo turn one I've discussed people I've discussed this with a lot of people before um, the odds that your opponent has sinister is only uh, one in eight and um, obviously if you do a turn one, you can potentially hit their own trinity before they have an opportunity to use it. Um, so I agree with the duo turn one. Uh, puts us pretty far ahead right off the bat. Um, he sets Sangin. Now, I would summon Sangin here, and I'll say why. Um, the reason why is we would like to tribute our Sangin for Air Knight, and by summoning it, we get to tell our opponent that it's a Sangin, and he might not attack it. So if this Sangin gets attacked, I don't really like that. Um, but if we put it in attack mode, our opponent might think, oh, well, I don't want to let his Sangin die and have him search something, so he might not attack it. He might not be as likely to attack it if he knows that it's a Sangin. Whereas um, he might think it's like a Magician of Faith and then want to attack it. So I like summoning Sangin. The other nice thing is we know our opponent can't cross out if the Sangin's in attack mode. So what we want to do is tribute our Sangin for Air Knight and search Sinister. But if our Sangin gets crossed out, we don't get to search Sinister. And if it's attacked, we can't play Air Knight. So I, I'd much rather be summoning it here. Yeah, so here we get like Reaper knocked. And this isn't very good for us because our Sangin isn't going to search Sinister. And now we're forced to use Goats so we don't discard. Um, so like, if we just summon Sangin, we don't end up in this spot. Um, luckily our opponent did set a spell or trap, so we get to breaker it, which is what I hope he does here. And, um, the book is actually fine. Uh, you know, our opponent still has to commit something else to the field. Um, I'm gonna want to set Torrential just in case our opponent, I don't know, like, tributes for his own Air Knight, perhaps. Um, so now we have the debate of whether or not we torrential. So, um, you know, he's probably going to flip his Reaper down and just have the Tsukiyomi attack Breaker. So the Breaker's going to die regardless. It's just, hey, do we want to trade our torrential in three goats for our opponent's Tsukiyomi and Reaper? And I'm pretty sure the answer is yes. Because, you know, if we meta our goat, he gets to kill with Tsukiyomi anyways. Yeah, I would just Torrential here. Like, you get to kill two of your opponent's monsters. Whereas, I don't see what this really accomplishes. Um, so, so I'd really... Like, if we Torrential, we just leave our opponent with only one card. And we're just so far ahead at that point. So it's like now, I mean, what are we going to do? Are we going to summon, like, Dekochi in attack mode or something? Like, the problem is we don't have a lot that we can do, right? Here we can set our Dekochi, but our opponent gets to kill it with this Tsukiyomi, and then we're not going to want to Torrential that. Whereas the cool thing about Torrentialing last turn is we weren't really giving up anything because our Breaker was going to die anyways. Yeah, so now, like, we're just, you know, losing, uh... Like, our... our like, our tokens are all going to die anyways. Um, so here, I would probably just attack Azura and say go, and then when he summons the Tsukiyomi, we get to Torrential. Which, is, yeah, this looks like what he's going to do. But here, you know, this is unfortunate, because now if our opponent has a Dust Tornado, he gets to hit us with Reaper, which would really suck. So we actually got really lucky here that our opponent didn't Dust Tornado us. Yeah, and see, now we have to Torrential, and now our opponent still has the Tsukiyomi, or we're just not going to Torrential. Oh, okay, we are. Yeah, this... 
we're like, we're just getting destroyed because we didn't Torrential the Tsukiyomi Reaper. Because if we Torrential the Tsukiyomi Reaper, we would be in the same spot, except we would have gotten to flip up our Dokochi, and our opponent wouldn't have a monster to tribute for Air Knight. So, like, we're just actually getting shafted here. I mean, luckily, we're just a sack, and we just draw a Snatch Deal. So, we can Snatch the Air Knight, Tsukiyomi it up and down to keep it, uh, and then draw a card. But, like, if we didn't draw the Snatch Deal, we probably would have lost the game because we just didn't Torrential correctly. Oh, and, and now we have a dust to counter um, our opponent's snatch deal if he has one, which is pretty good. So yeah, he banished yeah, the faith that he discarded to duo. Oh uh, yeah, this could be pretty rough. I mean, we should probably end phase dust. And then, I don't know, I guess hope to like draw something really good. Oh, I mean, yeah, so here we can Tsukiyomi the BLS and then cross out it. I mean, we're just getting like really lucky. Like, we've played this game pretty poorly. But, um, we're just, you know, drawing like the best possible out every turn to make up for it. And yeah, we don't really care what this face down is. Um, it's interesting that he had the Tsukiyomi flip itself down instead of our own Tsukiyomi. I probably would have, if I were Dale, I would have flipped ours face down. That way we could like draw something and run it over. Although maybe he just has like a second Air Knight in his hand. Um, so yeah, here I think we just go Azura, try to kill the face down Tsukiyomi. Oh, and it actually goes through, which is pretty sweet. So yeah, we're pretty far ahead at this point. Oh, he's got a Zerar Zer. That's kind of annoying, because you don't really have an immediate out. Um, and four Zer hits will kill us. Hopefully we just draw like a Saku or something. Uh, so... We have a light and a dark in our grave. Oh yeah, so, so we can just kill our opponent. We just summon BLS, set Tsukiyomi, meta it, and kill him. Okay, so so yeah, this isn't too bad of a spot for us then. Okay, so yeah, it looks like what he's doing. Yeah, okay, so that's game. So yeah, having our Azura die there is pretty sweet because it gave us the light we needed for BLS. Um, but yeah, like, the main mistake that we made was torrentialing incorrectly. Like, that almost lost us the game. And the only reason it didn't lose us the game was because we top deck Snatch Deal. Uh, so our opponent gets to go first. Um, this hand is, like, average. It's not, like, great, but it's not terrible. But what's nice is the fact that our opponent didn't commit a monster to the field. So we want a pot of greed, hope to draw something good. Um, so here, I like setting Tsukiyomi and then just setting Mirror Force and Book for two reasons. One, the Tsukiyomi might bait a cross out, which would be nice. And if it doesn't, we contribute it for Air Knight. Yeah, I don't really, I mean, this is fine too. Um. I think I like setting Tsukiyomi slightly better though, just because we can like bait something. But I mean, it kind of it kind of works out the same. It would just be nice. Like here, we're obviously gonna get a mirror force, but I would much rather tribute our Tsukiyomi for our Air Knight rather than tribute our Tribe because we have two Tsukiyomis and Tribe is like a really good power card. So um, I think the play that I suggested was slightly better, but like it's not. It, it probably won't like make or break the game. But just think here, you know, potentially, you know, this second Tsukiyomi in our hand, that could be a tribe if we'd played it differently. Right. Oh, and now our opponent's going to dust shoot. Yeah, I don't really like delaying dust shoot there. I mean, ironically enough, this, like, our play worked out because we have two Tsukiyomis and our opponent's dust shooting one. Uh, but, you know, in... You know, we, we can't, you know, we, we're being a little results-oriented, obviously. 
Um, I mean, like I said, I don't think it really matters. But if we attributed the Tsukiyomi for Aaron, I'd be slightly better. Even here, like, we would have a dark in our grave in case we drew BLS or something, which would be nice. But yeah, it, it, the way that we did it did happen to work out well just because of the dust shoot. Uh, may, maybe Swiski knew his opponent had three dust shoots and that's why he did it that way. So yeah, here we're gonna air knight. He, our opponent will probably. Oh wow, our opponent just has nothing. Yeah, I mean, air knight's really good in goat mirror. Sometimes like you just straight up win because of it. Um, I would just set faith here to be honest. It'll probably get well. We could either set faith or we could save it. That way we have it to meta if we need to. I'll probably save it, because if our opponent has nothing for Air Knight, and he's gone through a fourth of his deck, he probably has a cross out. Oh, he sets Sukiyomi to bait cross out. I mean, that could work too. Huh. Yeah, now he attacks, and it's just kind of like, well, what do we do now? I don't even know if I would book it or if I'd just let it die. I'd probably just let it die, to be honest. Yeah, he just says, because, like, we're so far ahead, we don't need to waste our book yet. Like, the book is really good for protection. I don't know why we're setting. You should never, like, if we know what our opponent has, we should never set a monster here. We should see what happens when our Air Knight attacks and then make a decision. Uh, I'll just let the Air Knight die. No need to book it. We have premature anyways. Um, and I would actually, to be honest, I would probably set the Dakochi instead of Faith. Um, that way we have the Faith in our hand for meta if we need to meta it. Because, like, our opponent could deal with this faith somehow. I, yeah, I agree with cross-outing the Abyss Soldier. But I would, I mean, it's close. Like, setting faith versus setting Dakochi, like, it's pretty close. I don't know, I guess our opponent just has nothing, so we're just gonna win regardless. But yeah, if we'd set Dakochi, we'd also, um, just be able to attack for 14 and threaten to kill our opponent which we can't do here. So like that's another reason why I think setting Dakochi could have been much better. Um, okay. All right, I mean, that is a surprisingly short game, uh, or short match, I should say. Um, but yeah, I mean, I think we, we sequenced a little bad this game. Like, our sequences were a little suboptimal. Like I said, if we sit to Kochi instead of Faith, we have two monsters that can threaten our opponent for game. Um, and like I said, I think we should have set Tsukiyomi instead of summoning Tribe, but it, it worked out because our opponent had Dust Shoot. And then game one, um, not using that Torrential, like, almost cost us the game. We just got extremely lucky. But yeah, that's, uh, that's it for today, guys. Uh, moral of the story, uh, when your opponent has two good monsters, you should probably Torrential them. Thanks, dudes.